Hi guys, this is Jared Richards for another installment of Watch Me Drive a Car. Some of you might have been aware of my recent horrible one-star review to Ford dealership, specifically the service department here at Harold Ziegler in Plainwell. Just want to give you guys an update. Mike Davidson was really uh, concerned about my review and looked into all the issues that I brought up and uh, we had a little bit of a cat and mouse trying to uh, get a hold of each other phone tag going on um, apparently Google registered his last name as Ziegler and nobody knew who Mike Ziegler was when I tried to call him back uh, there was two different mics that, that it could have been. And um, luckily the third time I tried to call back, I'm like, all I know is this is my third time trying to call. There's a guy there at your, at your store that called from this number. His name is Mike. And he's very concerned about my one star review that I gave. So I guess this will be the third and final time I try to find out who Mike was and what he wanted to talk about. Luckily, the lady was able to get a hold of Mike Davidson, and Mike and I had a great 20-minute talk. Um, I was under the impression that the first five oil changes would be free. Well, apparently that was a sales gimmick. Um, I paid for the advanced warranty program advanced maintenance package and this covered a lot one of the things that it covered was the first five oil changes and any maintenance that the car needed at all for like the first some so many miles or whatever um, so we talked about how the policy is if Ford's giving you your oil change then they want to do it every 10,000 miles and if you're giving yourself your oil change because you're paying for it, then they want to uh, to do it every 5,000 miles. Um, he said if you really want to get technical, you should pull out your owner's manual, which according to my owner's manual says I should only get an oil change once a year, regardless of how many miles I actually drove on it. Um, they didn't even have a mileage uh, recommendation. It was all about a time frame. Um, so, I think I'm not that concerned with the fact that they wanted me to go 10000 if they were going to pay for it, and 5000 if I was going to pay for it. Um... It works out that apparently I've gotten an oil change about every 6,000 miles um, because according to my data out of the last 20,000 miles that I've driven um, 8,000 of those miles were on electric alone so I'm currently averaging 80 miles per gallon for the life of my car 20,700 miles on it um, he said I should disregard the mileage indicator they put on there because that was part of the fuel for the fire. That um, now I have to get an oil change of within 5,000 miles because I'm paying for them. So there was some confusion between me and the dealership. There was a program that ended with the free mile every... Um, Every time you purchased service, you would go towards purchasing enough to, to gain a free oil change. And um, there was some other program, but I should have told them that I have an extended warranty maintenance program that my first five oil changes are covered, and this is what's going on. Um, because they had no clue what the hell I was talking about, the first time back in April they just assumed that I was talking about the program and 
they just gave me a free oil change, apparently, in April on my first oil change. It was not documented. It didn't come out of my, my plan maintenance first five. Um, so when I got the gut punch, you know, that I had to pay for an oil change, I'm like, what? And... I had to get it every 5,000 miles now that I'm paying for them. It was, it was really not adding up. That with the history of, of Ziegler Plainwell not wanting to sell me my car in the first place. They said I couldn't have Velocity Blue. I could only have white or black after they wasted a month and a half of my time. You know, for a month and a half, I said I want to buy this car. I understand how ordering works. Apparently, I can't get a new Tesla next month. But I should be able to get a new Ford next month. Um, Harold Ziegler, Plainwell, told me, Nope. No idea. It could be six months. could be two years before they get the next Ford made. Because nobody has any idea about what's going on with Ford. Um, so after a month and a half of holding on to my $1,000, I got my money back. I talked to a friend. told me to call a dealership three hours north of us. And... I was like, what the heck? Why not? I'll do it. So I called those guys. And within a couple weeks, boom, I had my 2019 Ford Fusion Velocity Blue. Um, why? Who knows? Harold Ziegler just didn't want to sell cars in Plainwell all of a sudden. Conspiracy theory? Maybe she was just having a bad day. All right. Anyways. Um... After talking with Mike today, he is going to refund my money for the uh, oil change. And they're all going to be on board with what plan I'm on, how my coverage is. And uh, he's going to work on his charging station. He understands that they've been having a lot of problems with their charging station. And he assured me that it was totally legit, that he's not an electrician, but for some reason... Their charging station keeps dying, and they have a fix in place soon. Within a couple weeks, he assured me that um, I'll be able to start charging my car at the Ford dealership in Plainwell. I did tell him about how every other dealership that I've stopped at in West Michigan, their dealerships also have a charging station that doesn't work. We're talking Audi, BMW... Um, Mercedes, name brand, high-end electric uh, charging stations that just don't work. And nobody knows why. It's like, who's charging their vehicles anyways, right? Eh, screw those guys. Oh, well. So, Mike said there isn't no big conspiracy to screw over the electric vehicles. They've been having legit problems, and they have a fix in place. It's going to be solved, so I can't wait. I'm eager to set the record straight. The service was good. It was just all these things snowballing up. I should have had it for free. Um, if I would have known I should have been doing my oil changes every 5,000 miles, I would be getting them every 5,000 miles. I want this car to last forever, um, as long as it can at least. I'm all about trying to save some money here. <laughs> Um, when I first did the math, at 25,000 miles per year, at 14 miles per gallon is what I was getting, compared to getting 50 miles per gallon now, the cost savings alone should pay for the car within 10 years. So I'm up to 80 miles per gallon now, average, for the lifetime of the car. So I do need to back figure in some additional... Uh, cost incurred just to compare apples to apples here um, about ten dollars more a month on electric so that's like two gallons of regular gas maybe three gallons a month um, but I've also been putting premium in ever since day one I try to always buy the premium from a shell station uh, so yeah, I think I'm still on track for that original goal of 10 years having the, the car pay for itself with the uh, cost in fuel.
That's my 10 minutes. Nice seeing you guys again. Bye.